first episode of Outlasting the Human Hunt. My name is Sir Henry Grimes, and I'll be giving you tips on how to fight those metal monstrosities. So, if you are watching this, then that means that you are being hunted. Awfully sorry about that. But the good news is, is that if you are watching this, then that means that you are still very much alive, and probably do not wish to be murdered. If that is the case, then by Jove, you are in good hands. I've been hunted on dozens of occasions, and I'm still here to tell the tale. So, let me see if I can assess your situation. You're cold, alone, and unarmed in some strange new place. And if that weren't bad enough, you can't find a good spot of tea anywhere. Oh, and yes, you're being hunted by robots. Can't forget that. Well, don't be startled. It's not as uncommon as it sounds. Happens to the best of us, actually. And the worst of us, for that matter. Never mind. Now, normally when unarmed and surrounded by hostiles, I'd recommend going fisticuffs. But seeing as these men are made of metal, I'd advise a different tactic from breaking your hands. Namely, running your ass off and staying out of sight. So, that would seem as good a lesson as any, I guess. So today's lesson. Yes, we'll focus on the particulars of staying out of sight. Really, there are only two things to keep track of, if you don't want to be seen. Keeping your visibility low, and staying out of your pursuer's line of sight. As a rule, you'll want to keep your visibility as low as possible at all times. You can tell how visible you are by the gauge in the lower left-hand corner. The more bars you have, the more visible you are, and yes, the less bars you have, the less visible you are. Hunters will need to be right on top of you to see you if you are keeping a low visibility. And likewise, the more visible you are, the easier it will be for your pursuers to see you at a distance. Your visibility is affected by your actions, what terrain you are in, and what time of day it is. Your movement speed seems to have the largest effect on your visibility. Crouching and moving slowly will help you blend in, whereas running pretty much invites trouble. Try keeping the taller grass to lower your visibility. And likewise, avoid staying too long in areas with short grass. Unless, you know, you like being short. Nighttime also makes you harder to see, so take advantage of that as well. Finally, I should warn you that certain actions will maximize your visibility, regardless of your movements and surroundings. Firing a gun and using a flashlight are prime examples of this. So you can give up now thinking that you can get away with shooting at robots for long without being seen lying in the grass. My advice on visibility is this. The closer you are to those riveted ruffians, the lower you should try to keep your visibility. If you start hearing those blighters, best duck and take things slow. If you should hear an inquisitive beep, best not move at all. Sometimes that little bit is enough to get them to lose sight of you. If you don't see nor hear the robots, then running can be a viable means of getting around. Just be sure to stop and look around the second you hear them again, or you'll likely find yourself running the opposite direction quickly enough. So, in conclusion on visibility, remember this. If you hear their beeps, it's time to creep. If you hear their guns, it's time to run. <laughs>